But what helped it the last two rounds or what I think helped it. So after I sent you the video, when I, I've been at home repping kind of like what feels straight back under my chin. Yeah. When I sent you those, if you watch, you know, that video is a minute long, even on those practice swings, I saw it looks like none of this stuff leads anywhere. Even on the dry fire swing, it was like all this stuff just comes together. Yeah. And then I was like, man, I do have the physical ability to separate, right? So I started doing this. Like, yeah. man, I can disassociate my hips pretty well. And then I started, I started trying to get to where I was just asking myself, how much could I separate? Which then started leading to some swings that were feeling like back to the same old half rippers, something started getting back in sequence and I started finding it really patchy for like stretches of two and three holes started hitting the irons really good again. And that seemed to help. So, uh, I don't know. I was going to add like when I, so if I rep a backswing, but then if I pretend like I'm leaving everything here and like, I go ahead and start shifting left and then I twist, like, does that look like an appropriate move? Yeah, it looks good. Because it did, it did help me clear and hit the ball a little better. But like I said, it was kind of, uh, it was kind of patchy. Okay, where we, where we left off was, I still feel a little closer. Do I kind of look like in an athletic spot? Yeah, you look good, man. Setup looks awesome. Okay, so then, yeah, I'm just trying to get the takeaway right, and then I'm trying to just lead with, as I get here, I'm trying to just go, go ahead and get the hips a little bit left, and then just trying to separate. It's kind of what seemed to help some of this stuff. I wonder how much of a factor, remember how your left side got sore there for a little bit? Yeah, like even right now, warming up, my, my back feels tired. Does it? Yeah. Um, have you been doing, what's, were you still rowing or what have you been up to? No, that's the other thing. I, I don't know if I frustrated myself or like I said, I just needed a golf break, but I did stretch this morning, but I haven't been doing any, any of the vault stuff actively. Okay. I just been like, I have some go-tos for stretching my hips and going through some of their stretches, but I haven't actually been running through the uh, mobility programs here in the last two weeks. Okay. Okay. That feels good. Okay. There's, if I'm addressing that, that's depending on which eye I close, we can call that one and a half knuckles. Out of one eye, it's two knuckles. Out of the other, it's one and a half. I like it. Let's try it. See what it does. Face looks pretty neutral. At least it was on the face. Spin? Spin is 61.38. Club speed for as, for as poor as it feels like I'm moving. The club, club speed was 85, but this is an eight iron. It only went 160. Can you see your shadow a little bit in the floor there? Uh, yeah, I see two. Yeah, I do. I see my shadow. I see one right in front of me here. Show me the start of your backswing with your head staying uh, on that shadow. Okay. Too much head chase again. And the backswing. Okay. Less. Move less than that still. 
A little less. Hmm. Looks like my shadow wasn't even moving. Better there. Okay, now go up and hit that one. Was hit well. Here, look at this. I'll just show you. So here's the last one. So there's the start. You can sort of see that picture in the back. Mm -hmm. So see how it sort of stays on it ish, and then yeah. it will, then it will load. Then it will go back. You see that? Mm -hmm. And I'll explain. I mean, that was actually really good right there. I love that. Okay. okay. This was before this one. So watch the picture. Yep. More than half the half head standard. Yeah, because what I think this is like, so and also grip. This is the grip, so you can see what it looks like from the front. So I think it looks pretty nice, you know. Okay, and you're and you're happy with the right hand. Yeah, because I don't know. I okay, because I, I don't know why it's been the one that's also been it. My whole grip has been really bugging me. Like it's definitely. I don't think you're weak here. I think that's neutral to slightly, slightly strong. But agreed. Good. Um, the the one thing that I think was happening. So when I move this way a lot, when I start back. I don't really get much load there, right? So then as I keep going, then I keep turning a little bit more and then it's hard to get all the way back. So now you're more centered, that last one, you're gonna get stretched there earlier, which that makes you go that way more, you know? Okay. So then you'll be a little bit more back to like that ripping around you versus if I shift, then I'm trying to get back and then, you know, we never really get enough and then it's, I'm here, that it moves my hands deeper, longer, you know? Right, right. So I just, I, I, I would like to see that a couple more times. I did think it looked a lot easier, that last one, you know? Yeah, and it did. I mean, the ball was hit well. It was actually compressed. Those previous five or six, I mean, none of those were compressed. Or just pass or fail stuff. You just tell me okay. what, what's a pass and a fail on things we do, because I've been kicking my own ass so i'm going to show you this one come here just so you can see yeah this is you feeling centered centered okay ready yep half head and that's as much as I, I would want you to move by the top you know yeah so just the idea that you have to stay you know you're going to feel like you're going Almost like you're not going to, but th that's what you're going right. to be feeling probably more of. Okay. That's Let's a, go again. I, that the one that you did the where one, you paused the first and, three, and you told me less. I was, yeah, in those first few, I was thinking, man, I might have to feel like I'm going the other way for a couple. more or less right. movement basically right yes that's it pretty good man see that one looked like it wanted to pull you around again to me yeah and and i i felt like i was tipping to my left side for now, like it felt when I took it away, it felt like I was going towards the screen. Oh, hey, uh, Bushnell Pro stuff. Did you hear the news last week of why all this crap is going on with Bushnell and Foresight? No. The company, this was released uh, September 9th. The company that owns Bushnell Vista Outdoors, yeah, bro, they're buy, they're buying Foresight. No way. Yes, sir. It, just Google Vista 
sports outdoors foresight acquisition they're they're buying foresight that's that's why i saw some people i've been keeping up with the chatter of what's going on i saw some people saying now it makes sense why bushnell is the u.s because they're buying foresight wild Open the face more at address if you can. Okay. I know. I know. <laughs> I'm just Ty, like, Tyler, why? I'm like, what, what is, I know. <laughs> what is wrong with me? I, I make this shit so hard. <laughs> it just, it just, it like, I could see it, you know, just in that first, like, right when you're ready to go. I'm just like, oh, it just looks like it's not, it's going not. left. There, there, there. Yeah. Nice. More face. Yeah. Come on. There you go. Good. <laughs> right there. Yeah. Beautiful. That was awesome. I love that right there. A little shifty when you went to actually go, but not bad. Okay. So I think that thing actually uh, had about a seven yard cut. Oh, wow. That's exciting. Yeah. I so mean, this is my sort of side. Yards. This is my side hypothesis. I'm I all think, ears, man. I think, okay, the combo of little strong, little more shift, a little more shut, and then you're hitting it. It's like no matter how hard you're going to go left, that's a lot of shut faces. You know, like if I move and I, I if I just go to impact, and I have my body and I'm way more behind it this way, like the, for sure the face is going to want to be more shut, you know? And then obviously with the grip and the slightly shut face at a dress and slightly shut at the top, it's like, no wonder it's a lot of work right now, you know? And, and being hung back on this side, which still promotes this to jump. Sure. Yeah. Right when, yeah. Yeah. Because that's why, so once I go back to like, okay, I got to get left. And then I just try to turn as hard as I can. Like, that's the thing. It won't eliminate the shape, but it does mitigate the shape right. for me. And, and the other thing too, right? If you end up, if you're here, well, the amount that you're going to have to go lateral before you go rotation is higher, which will make for you probably the hands end up being a little bit more behind. So even if you did a great shift, the hands will still be more behind. So you'll still be throwing that probably. So I think if you're more centered here and then you get the shift like this, we'll want to go back, you know, and then we'll be more in front, you know? So, um, yeah, because, because when we started, when we started, I was the guy who was too stationary, too weak. Yeah. Chest up. Yeah. Extra hinge. Yeah. And like, so then we got to, it was chest, chest down. Yeah. The grip was stronger, but I, yeah, I just started getting too much. Yeah, because well, ideally we're going chest down. Like if I go like this, so I'm going, watch my head. So I'm going chest down with not a lot of lateral, right? So I'm here. Right. I don't need chest down in here because that's like, it's, I don't feel anything. If I go, if I try to stay chest down in here, then it's like, and then I put this, that's a ton here. And then I go like that. It's like, wham, like it's going, it's ripping, you know, ripping. Yeah. Yeah. Fascinating. Center chest down. Correct. Open face feel for now. Yeah. yeah. Centered. And we, chest we're, down. we're just adding lots of Correct. rights, you know? Right. Chest, chest down centered. A little shifty. More, more, yeah, yeah. more centered. Good. Face, 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 face. Yeah.
still going right. Good. Oh my God, I just cut that thing off the screen. I know, I was so happy to see it too. So different, man. That was- Yeah, that ball, that ball was going, it started right, falling more right. Look at this, that's the top there. I mean, that's, that's pretty, spot. what's that? That's a good spot. Heck yeah, that's sweet right there. Looks and really different. It, Doesn't it look different? Yeah, that looks nice. And what do the hips do from there? Like, are we, are we getting any to the target lead? Kind of, ish, no. I, a little, I'd say a little. Like, the knee wants to overwork, but we'll get there. I think if we just get this, this is much, watch how much calmer that is. Like, it's almost like you go to go, and then you just sort of stabilize it versus at the start, it was like, you know, you're just like, just kept on. Even, even on that one, as it was getting to shoulder high, when I transitioned, did you notice like the head started centered, but then as I, I got that last little pump, there was a little bit of a right there. Whoop. Yeah, but I, I still thought, I, I like it. Like that one and that it's cutting, which is fun, you know? shot no it's another one it started a couple yards right of the target and fell a few more right, yards right uh it launched the ball launched 6.3 degrees right the 160 carry 87 club here's that setup If I was being real picky, I would I would probably have you bump that lead hip a little bit more. Okay, I can do that. Just a little. Uh, the grip, the face, the the upper body, I think looks pretty good, man. It's definitely to me, it's still not weak. I don't think it's weak. You know. I agree. I think it's like sort of, you know, between the shoulders ish. You know, between the shoulder yeah. and the ear ish. Right. That line so on the, the left hand V. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I like it though. It's it looks better when I scroll down to the face too. Like that looks more, you know, neutral. Yeah, it doesn't look hooded. No, it doesn't look hooded. Let's do one more. Let me do the hip bump for you. Okay. With everything else in place, and then I'll put you back down. Perfect. <clears throat> How many guys you got lined up today? I did um, about two hours this morning at the course and then uh, just taught one before you and then you and then another one and then back to the course. Damn, man. How far are you from the course, Barry? Barry? What's that? How far are you from the course? Two minutes. Luckily. All right. All right. Here is the Beautiful. bump. Yeah. Bam. I just, did you see that little yeah. hitch forward? That's usually how I, I go about doing it. And then centered chest down. Again, yeah, again, again, that felt like a good move to my body. Um, that was 160 carry, 88 club, It's and it's still falling right again. Here's this setup. So when I look now, though, I would just move this hand slightly more forward, slightly. Okay, yeah. Like if I go, like I'm looking at the spacing here between like this arm and this leg and this arm and this leg. So now that the hips in the right spot, it looks like the hands are slightly back. So I would just have the hands slightly more forward, slightly. Okay. Definitely looks a lot simpler to me right now. You know, when I watch this one. Small shift, but definitely less. Yeah, I was gonna say it's. Then there's still enough head movement in there. 
Oh yeah. Yeah. It doesn't look like you're restricted. It looks like it goes and then it just sort of starts to stabilize, which is, we just needed that, you know, it was getting a little bit slack in the system to me. Right. You want uh, down the line, you want to stay here. Let me see one we'll... more from here with that hand position. Yeah. Let's do it. Yeah. And sometimes I do feel like my hands have been getting a little back. You see it? Yeah. Hmm. A lot of good. I, I, I think it looks a lot more refined than it did. That's the setup here again, screenshot. Yeah. I like that. Yeah, me too. I think it looks, I mean, it looks like, looks like somebody who's in a spot, like, like, that's why I say it looks better than the way I, in my mind, I feel over it. Yeah. Like that, that looks like an, like, I'm, that looks like a person who's going to give it a good pass. Yeah. And the grip looks nice now. Like it doesn't look like you're fighting it, you know, even though you might be. It yeah. I, like and it. Yeah. It's so strange how, you know, I, I just, I've got to get a back in that same spot it's just with my my hand feeling more down the side of the club but it still feels in my fingers yeah it definitely makes my hands feel like they're more one piece than my hands been feeling very two two piece gotcha I mean, that doesn't feel like a bad pass either. Oh my God. Hey, guess who almost hit his 170 bullseye target? 167, speed 89. Golf swing right there, man. It looks like you're ready to do it right there to me. You know, that's another one. Let's do Perfect half head. Yeah, and it's it just looks like you can go, you know, when I watch that one. Mm -hmm. It's neat to see that lead side clear so well. You see that? Yeah. Plus, it's nice to see that I'm, I'm able to stay a little more centered, but without overdoing the chest and without my hands and arms running. Like, do you see they're still stopping where we oh, want like, them? Look at this, I'm so, Like, that was the dream yeah, forever I, I, when we first started, you know? Yeah, that that looks like where we've been wanting to live again yeah simple that looks really really good really good yeah it's gonna be um, more neutral centered chest down Ooh. that's a baby there's a baby baby draw Ball speed 116, carry 168.6. That's my number. Launch 18. Simple. Yeah. All right, last one, and we'll figure our best way to do our summary here. A lot of it's set up. A lot of it's set up. Yeah, isn't it? Yeah. It's setting up with a weaker grip and face, but feeling like it's still in a leverage spot in my hand. Correct. And then a little hip bump, and then a centered chest down turn. Baby draw, I kind of throw, I kind of threw the hands, but that ball's not missed. 119 ball speed, 173 carry, 16 launch. Okay, give me give me your scoop here. What do we got? Okay. Weaker grip, but getting the left hand where it's still a leveraged position. Yeah. Right hand feels more connected to left and on top once my left hand's correct. Addressing the ball is still standing what feels like close to me. Left hip bump. You want to face me for the bump and the so I can see the hand position? Yeah. Of course. Yeah, of course. Just for you, yeah, there we go. 
So feeling open, left hip bump, hands a little forward, and then centered chest down. Uh, you, you like how good this looks, this, this hand position right here. Yeah, it's right up in my left thigh. Yeah, and that grip's not too weak, you know. There's still plenty of left wrist extension there, you know. Yeah, yeah, I agree. And your chest looks like in the right spot. Your hips look like in the right spot. You look really over your feet, you know. Yeah. Good, man. I, I'm excited for you. Let me know how today goes. Yeah, I will. I'll at least fire you a scorecard, a note, if I'm we're, we're back to not having any temporary greens. So I can, as of this weekend, cause we just had a club championship. I can actually enter in some dis real distances and stuff too. So. I uh, love it, man.